convert. And through the centuries, um, Egypt became Muslim, the majority of people, because really they couldn't pay al jizya. The few that remain Christian, we, we only like 10 or 12 percent now. But 10 and 12 percent, between like 90 million, we're actually around 12 million Christians over there. And um, through, the, through the control of uh, President Mubarak, uh, the government was kind of like, uh, we can say secular, but it wasn't really secular, because he let go the killing of the Christians in Egypt, the discrimination. They can tell that we're Christians because, of course, for women, we're not wearing, uh, wearing the veils. And uh, f from our names, actually, because we have Christian names like Mark, uh, like for Saint Mark, uh, George, and stuff like this, not like m the other names like Muhammadan. Anyway, um, so he let go the discrimination and obvious killing, especially in the southern part of Egypt. And the violence was escalating till the last thing that happened to us, New Year's Eve, uh, we were Christian go to churches in Egypt, lots of churches in Egypt. And uh, we were praying like any other Christian that God to, you know, we're repenting and we, we uh, make promises to God that this is a new beginning and the new year is different. And uh, we give our life to the Lord and we're leaving the church, new beginning. And all of a sudden in a church in Alexandria, Egypt, a car was uh, exploding in front of the church, killing 23 Christians and wounding 98 people. That just happened, um, the first minute, so year 2011. Of course, nobody knows about it, very few people knows about it. So we were really crying to the Lord from the first minute in 2011 as Christian, all over. We were fasting, we were praying for God to, to take the persecution and uh, the unjust, injustice from, from the Christians. We know that uh, it's, it's not a good uh, regime, but I ask you as Christian and one body in Christ to pray for the Christians in Egypt because we don't know what's coming. As you all know, if you're following the news, um, the Muslim Brotherhood, they have a lot of followers. And uh, pray for if there is any election, please. Um, I was there for 25 years. They pay the people money. The people there are poor. So they pay them money to vote for them. So if Christianity in the Middle East, especially in Egypt, is a miracle. But through the centuries, through the persecution, and you have to pay al jizya. So to, to keep Christianity now in Middle East is really a miracle. And now it's a new era, and we really need to pray for the Christians. Thank you, and God bless you all. I just want to emphasize because we have a prayer line right now and Carol has a phone number so make sure you get that phone number you can call Monday from 9 to 10 o'clock so just call in if you need prayer if you need a word or if you want to give a testimony whatever okay